Asynchronous serial communication is a form of serial communication in which the communicating endpoints interfaces are not continuously synchronized by a common clock signal. Instead of a common synchronization signal, the data stream contains synchronization information in form of start and stop signals, before and after each unit of transmission, respectively. The start signal prepares the receiver for arrival of data and the stop signal resets its state to enable triggering of a new sequence. A common kind of start-stop transmission is ASCII over RS-232, for example for use in teletypewriter operation. Origin Mechanical teleprinters using 5-bit codes typically used a stop period of 1.5-bit times. Very early electromechanical teletypewriters could demand two stop bits to allow mechanical impression without buffering. Hardware which does not support fractional stop bits can communicate with a device that uses 1.5 bit times if it is configured to send two stop bits when transmitting and requiring one stop bit when receiving. The format is derived directly from the design of the teletypewriter, which was designed this way because the electromechanical technology of its day was not precise enough for synchronous operation, thus the systems needed to be resynchronized at the start of each character. Having been resynchronized, the technology of the day was good enough to preserve bit sync for the remainder of the character. The stop bits gave the system time to recover before the next start bit. Early teleprinter systems used five data bits, typically with some variant of the Bordot code. Very early experimental printing telegraph devices used only a start bit and required manual adjustment of the receiver mechanism speed to reliably decode characters. Automatic synchronization was required to keep the transmitting and receiving units in step. This was finally achieved by Howard Crum, who patented the start-stop method of synchronization. Shortly afterward a practical teleprinter was patented. Operation, before signaling will work, the sender and receiver must agree on the signaling parameters, full or half duplex operation, the number of bits per character, NDRness, the order in which the bits are sent the speed or bits per second of the line. Some systems use automatic speed detection. Whether to use or not use parity, odd or even parity, if used, the number of stop bits sent must be chosen, mark and space symbols, asynchronous start-stop signaling was widely used for dial-up modem access to time-sharing computers and BBS systems. These systems used either 7 or 8 data bits. Between computers, the most common configuration used was 8N18-bit characters, with one start bit, one stop bit, and no parity bit. Thus 10 board times are used to send a single character, which has the nice side effect of dividing the signaling bit rate by 10 results in the overall transmission speed in characters per second. Asynchronous start-stop is the physical layer used to connect computers to modems for many dial-up internet access applications using a data link framing protocol such as PPP to create packets made up out of asynchronous serial characters. The performance loss relative to synchronous access is negligible, as most modern modems will use a private synchronous protocol to send the data between themselves, and the asynchronous links at each end are operated faster than this data link, with flow control being used to throttle the data rate to prevent overrun. See also Comparison of synchronous and asynchronous signaling, degree of start-stop distortion, synchronous serial communication, universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. References Further reading, Nelson, R. A. and Lovett, K. M. History of Teletypewriter Development, Teletype Corporation, retrieved April 14, 2005, Hobbs, Allen G. 5 Unit Codes, Access December 20, 2007. External links, Programming, Serial Data Communications at Wikibooks